So, what's up, what's up? What's really going on? Let's talk. Monique, the comedian, actress. Some may at this point call her that bully or that one that just keeps going on and on and just cannot accept, get over it. Or is it really worth it when you have something that's piercing your heart that has messed with you for years, messed with you to the point where it has stopped your income bracket, your flow of making money for eon years that could have possibly helped have supported your grandchildren and whole nother generation for years to come. I think at times when you become the it girl, the it guy, the it factor, or that person has it, it's something about that person. And when things seem to crash down because you possibly didn't plan for a rainy day or two, what that could possibly turn into. But is it true? Is it possible? Is it expected that you can sometimes become that it person that the higher ups in Hollywood may not like it? Is that possibly true? Did Monique possibly take it too far discussing Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey? Now, in my opinion, I don't believe, I don't believe, or I believe that, let me put it like this, I believe that Oprah Winfrey is remaining in silence about this Monique situation for a reason, not responding. After all, what does Oprah need to go viral about? Now, yes, we have heard Oprah's name caught up in some messy mess. At least I have. Maybe some of you have. And Tyler Perry, he has possibly allegedly been caught up in some messy mess. But at this point, whose name has not been brought up or dragged through Hollywood in some form or fashion? Does Oprah Winfrey... Oh, Monique, an apology. Does Monique owe Oprah Winfrey an apology? Didn't Tyler Perry apologize? I don't know at this point, but is there such a thing as going too far? I do, because I do believe that. Because sometimes I believe that sometimes you can become so deeply rooted, involved in other people's lives, perception of you. And before you know it, you're like, who the heck am I? How did it get to this point? Why is this now out of control that I can't even regain a sense of self because you are taking on the magnitude of what someone has done to you and you have possibly allowed it to fester and become deeply rooted into the heart, into the mind, into the soul, into the body, that it affects you physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, that can you have a healthy relationship with your significant other? Can you have a healthy relationship to continue to go on with your children, with your family members? Because you're so bogged down with the opinion of telling a crowd at a comedy show to forget Oprah Winfrey, but yet using other words. Sometimes I think that people can just practice, 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 practice. Have thoughts, 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 thoughts of manifestation in their mind, body, spirit, soul, that they will start to believe how vindictive this person is. I believe sometimes that it can go so deeply rooted that you'll start to imagine things and make things up in your own mind. I'm not saying that that is what Monique is doing, but I'm thinking that, wow, has this really gotten to this point that this woman has just gone on and on for years? Is Oprah going to apologize? Is it a stand-up comedian's job? Is it really funny to just constantly talk about the main people that she's been talking about for years. She didn't want her rampage. 
Cat Williams done opened her up to another platform. And it's like, wow, Monique, you still angry. What is the come up here? What are you really searching for? What is this massive void? She mentioned on Club Shay Shay, she called out others who she was upset with. She mentioned others who had looked out for her as well financially. Um, some of us who has kept up with some of this saga because it, sometimes this stuff is just right, it's put right before your face. You go on YouTube for one thing and then you see seeing something else jump off. But how far are people really willing to let the mind travel to unknown places? Your mind can sometimes travel to an unknown place that you can't even regain to get it back to go back to who you once was. Your mind can travel to a place when you allow others to come into your life who may not be healthy for you. And maybe possibly you was seeing signs, but instead you found yourself going forward. Well, we are in a warfare of when we have to know that it's okay to say no. I will no longer have these thoughts. They're not healthy for me. We are in a warfare to say no and not be apologetic for trying to protect our own peace. Now, those who decided to sit in the crowd and participate and repeat after Monique with the um, vicious, vile things that she was saying about Oprah microphone about Oprah Winfrey throwing out her microphone, saying, now repeat after me to say, forget Oprah Winfrey, you know, using another word, but I'm not going to go there. Then again, you know, she's attacking Tyler Perry. Again, these are the same conversations that Monique continues to have. And when is it ever enough? You know, I feel like if you go to a comedy show, you should know who you're going to see and what it possibly is that they may talk about. I think if I go to a comedy show, and yes, I have been to them, I'm hoping to laugh. I'm hoping not to be the center of attention because at the same time, that has happened too. And let me tell y'all, look, let, let me get a chance to get a hold of that microphone because I got some comebacks for you too. But that's not why I'm there. But I understand, you know, Things are meant to be funny. Not everybody takes to it. Some people become offended. But I do feel like, you know, if you go into one of those hole in the wall type comedy shows and you're like, you know, I'm just going out to hopefully have a good time and what it could possibly turn into, you have to be aware of that. You go into a comedy show where you're spending your money with a named comedian, Somebody who's been around for years, what that could possibly turn into. But it's like, my goodness, I feel like you already done saw the show. Because again, every time Monique opens up her mouth with her husband, it's always a focal point. The woman is just not okay with how things have been done. And I understand, well, I don't understand it because it's not me, but I respect her feelings. But again, when is it? ever enough in time to move on everyone's different everyone has to play it i guess how they play it and hopefully one day she'll get the apology but even if she does then what does that mean things are just going to be set free and, and, and money cometh money come pouring down because monique has decided to accept the apology or will she find something else wrong again who knows this monique we talking about